Hi guys, I'm Michael Pa. I'm at the IWA 24 in Nuremberg. Next to me is Shelko from HS and Steve from Springfield Armory. He brought the angel on for us and he is talking to us now what it means together to with HS, with Springfield, Armories and the Echelon gun. Yeah, so so uh, HS product and Springfield Armory have been partners since 2000. Uh, HS product is uh, world renowned for their manufacturing capabilities. Uh, we've imported their product in the United States for the last 20 plus years and, uh, and have done very well uh, in the United States market with the guns. Uh, we have worked together to develop uh, projects uh, based on the, on the U.S. and world market. Uh, the Hellcat was one of them. The Echelon is the most late, the latest product. And, uh, and now we are going to be globally distributing the products under the Springfield Armory brand. So uh, same great products uh, uh, with the Springfield Armory brand on them. Uh, these guns are, are pistols that we've worked together to, to uh, develop and make sure that we bring the customer the greatest product possible based on what the end user wants. We've interviewed uh, professionals in the field uh, to get their feedback. Uh, Rob Latham, our uh, world shooter, uh, he is uh, not only the most decorated competition shooter in the world, he also teaches uh, special forces and police uh, divisions all the time, so he had a lot of great input as well. So a lot of great input and a lot of great manufacturing and expertise and engineering went into this product, and, and we're, we're happy to be working together with HS product as always. That's insane. So in Germany, the distributor is Frankenhof, right? Correct, Frankenhof. Uh, they are our, uh, our distributor in Germany, so they're the ones to go to uh, to get any of the new uh, Springfield Armory yeah. products, uh, HS products, of course, uh, as well as the products we make uh, in Geneseo, Illinois, United States. That, that would be like your M1As, your uh, Saint rifle, uh, AR rifles, and, and, and the others, M1 and 1911s, things like that. I tested HS for the last two years, and I am very happy with them. They are running, keep running, they are really good, accurate. So for the Echelon, I tried it on the Enfor stack the days before, and I, I really love the features. Maybe you can tell to the guys the features sure. again. Sure. Well, let's start with the slide. The slide has been designed to be uh, very ergonomic. You can you can function it from a multiple uh, of directions. It's got these flared out wings on the back for for easy uh, uh, racking of the slide. It's also got this scalloped area here, so you can either push forward to do a press check. You can grab the slide to do a press check this way. So, in other words. There's the way the, the ergonomics are of the slide, you can manipulate it in many different ways depending on your situation, tactical environment, uh, whatever, whatever you, however you want to operate the gun. Then if we move into the, the, the grip itself, uh, it, it uses what we call adaptive grip texturing, which is, uh, if you look at it under, a, under a, a magnified lens, you can see that there's different peaks and valleys. The higher the, the peak, uh, uh, we've, we've basically cut the tops off of those, so you have like a pyramid with a cut off top. But down below that, when you grip tighter, you engage the, the pointier, lower uh, uh, peaks, which allows you to, so when you're holstering it, it doesn't rub against your clothes or your skin, uh, and, but when you grip it tightly, uh, it engages your hand for a very tight grip, very, uh, very good grip. And as you can see, it's it's very much like a custom gun. What what people would have done to their their guns uh, by a custom gunsmith. And the stippling is 360 degrees uh, with a, with an aggressive texture. So this this gun uh, comes in different grip modules. You can get it in a small, medium, or large. Some of them have different, uh, more aggressive grip texturing as well. Um, but and then there's also the back straps that uh, that you can insert, small, medium, and large. Uh, there's even a tool on there to help take down the machine, take down the pistol. Uh, it is a chassis gun. What, what we call the central operating group uh, is the is the chassis that HS has designed and built, and uh, so it allows you. That is the gun basically. It's it allows you to add the different grip modules uh, and and obviously. Uh, it gives us opportunities to build many other products as well that could be used on this same chassis. Another very key fi patented feature that we have is our VIZ or, or a variable interface system. What that does is it allows you to mount uh, all the high-end optics that you want uh, on one system. Uh, 
and while having a co-witness site. Uh, so what the, what's new about it is it's not just one machined uh, area for an optic. You can there, There's multiple holes in there to fit the different footprints of different sites. And what makes it even better, because of the, the different optics that you get from uh, from different manufacturers, even though they say they're this footprint, an RMR footprint, or a Delta Point Pro footprint, there's some variation sometimes. Exactly. What we've what we've done is we've designed a system that allows you to take the, uh, the any tolerances that are, are not exact and 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 use them to uh, or, and, and to make it so that a system that holds that site. So there's no shift in impact, no no MA, MOA difference, and by doing that, we've we've got these pins that we call them tilting pins. And what they do as the site is tightened down to the slide, the pins tilt inward, and they grip the in, inside of the the site. So there's no room for shift, and and uh, we found that this is a superior system to what's out there, uh, and and it really is a a uh, something that uh, will be using and, and uh, adding to other platforms as well. And less less offset because you don't have the mounts between the right. plates. And yeah, there's no plates. It's a direct mount which allows us to put it lower in the slide so you can have co-witnessing sights so that you can see your iron sights should your should for some reason your, your optic fail and uh, it allows you to always have those backup sights visible. And um, two important features for me as sports shooter very important. You can release the mag from both sides whether you're shooting strong hand or weak hand and second thing you see on both sides for the weak hand the sump rest is also with the texture mm -hmm. and additional on the trigger guard you have a, like a special profile where you can put exactly your fingers down and they are not moving and this is a secret of my kind of shooting where I'm shooting really fast because I have a high pressure down there so I really looking forward to try this gun out and I think I will um, get better um, shooting results and more benefits out of this idea which they made right now and guys this idea I had like a few years ago and I always used the how do you call it duct tape from the skateboards right, right. and I did it by my own there yeah. but I never did the texture down so thank you so much for this new innovation and yeah looking forward to, to test this gun out okay. if I can say just two new features yeah. this pistol it is really uh, incorporated all our experience for the last 20 years the work with the police, with the shooter and so on. One of the result is this what you mentioned, duct tape. Because if you see lots of shooters, lots of special police forces, everybody put a duct tape yeah. around the pistol. But there is lots of fine features, you know, why we call it really ultimate combat practical pistol. Because these serrations or this texture is not the same on all these areas. Yeah. It is a small difference, but we are hoping this small difference will get the end result really to be exactly what you say is friendly to the shooter, friendly to the professionals and so on. Yeah. And really technologically it is end of technology because the implementation and production of this pistol is really the top of technology you can find in the world. From the, the polymer production to the coatings to the some other features which we implement here from the production of chassis and all these parts. Really, this is, everything is on the edge of technology available today in the world. Second thing, what I would like to say, because this is important, since this is now, this piece will start to sell in whole Europe, and especially in Germany, with our new representative, uh, of is that all the uh, markings, serial number, all other numbers, is, uh, uh, adjusted and is complementary with all EU European laws. This means that even the, for the European laws, even for the buyers in Germany, everywhere, they they can buy just frame because this is not part of the pistol because of markings. All uh, parts of the pistol is in fact the chassis and of course morel and so on. So it is full implementation, all EU regulation about the markings, trackings and so on of the weapon. We 
which also will be very much important part of the sales in Germany. Exactly. All European. Yeah. The law changing every year, getting more difficult. So very important. But we are concerned and we will see. We will not say everything. Even if the law in European Union became much more stricter than today, which is doesn't look at this moment, but we already have solutions, very modern solutions, yeah. that we will correspond and we will answer to all the European regulation because anyhow uh, we are really following the laws, we are really following and even to our government institution intervene in law regulation regarding the weapons in the European Union, but we really have some modern features which will really uh, comply with all what the European Union can think about weapons, yeah. except if they are really bad. But then we are still on the professional use of this pistol because this pistol is also made for any other tenders for the police, military, we have it all. Right? And second thing, but now it's coming more and more points up. So with the texture, you're also in a low light situation or in a shooting academy. You can give the students the additional um, advice that they can feel it where they have to put their index finger. And when you're reloading the gun, it's also on a magazine. That's that's cool. So and on every side, only the back side, but there you feel it because the metal um, edge. But on the other side, you can feel the texture as well. So whenever you have it in holster, you can feel it and you can pull it faster. So so many new <laughs> things um, plopping up right now. Even here is the texture. So this is all insane. I think this is a game changer in the future. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing us. Well, thank you. Thank you. We're very proud of it, and we're very proud of our partnership working with HS. And uh, we're glad that we can now share the products globally. Uh, and and uh, and we're really looking forward to the success of that pistol, as well as more to come. So, thank you so much. Thank you.